positive thinking. Well, when you have a stroke, you have a choice. You could have it think positively or negatively. I mean, it's your choice. A lot of people think negatively. I did for the first three days. I had a pity party that was the, the, the talk of the town inside my brain. And I got rid of that on the fourth day, fortunately. Uh, and then I, I went into the positive th uh, thinking mode. Uh, that's what you have to do. You have to think positively of everything. So any negativity, any criticism coming your way from uh, a caregiver or your best friend or your spouse and stuff like that, you have to, you have to stop it or block it some way. That's, that's what I have to do. I still do that today now. Um, because negative thoughts lead you nowhere you want to be. Positive thoughts do. And so even if you have to fake it, I'll give you an example. Um, I was driving a client uh, down to her workplace and uh, she was talking about how uh, cheerful I was and how negative her workplace had been uh, over the, the time she'd been working there and she just hated going to work. She'd like to be at work with me because, uh, you know, I, I'm very positive. And I, I, I was flattered by that, but I said, can you do something for me? I want you to do a little experiment for me. Can you do that? She said, sure. And it's about uh, 8.30 in the morning. I said, when you go in to, to work, I want you to put a big smile on your face and say hello to everyone you meet eye to eye. Now, people are going to ask you why you're smiling. And when they do ask you why you're smiling, you can't tell them. In other words, just say, I can't tell you. And just smile and go about your business. Try that all day long. Not just for an hour. Try it all day long, and I want to hear about it when I pick you up at 4.30. Well, I picked her up at 4.30. I said, how'd the day go? She goes, you would not believe what happened. Well, what happened? I said, well, I mean, I'm used to this backbiting and backstabbing and people talking by other people's backs and stuff like that. And I went in there with that big smile that you told me to have, and I, I said hello to everyone I met eye to eye. And, so, and people did ask me, uh, why are you smiling? And I told them, I can't tell you. And as the day went on, more and more people smiled back at her. And after everyone had asked her why she was smiling, and she said, I can't tell you, People started to talk about, not behind people's back, started to talk about personal things. You know, how the family's going. You know, what's happening in their lives. They're not talking about what's happening at work, or the negatives, and that person's not doing their job. They're talking about, you know, real things outside of work. Isn't it? I'm looking forward to this weekend, and we're going to go away to the cottage, things like that. She said, it changed the entire atmosphere of the office. And I said, you know what you did? And she says, no, I don't know what I did. I said, well, you, no one can change another person. It can't be done. You could, a therapist can't do it. The therapist is there to help a person change themselves. I said, so what you did was you changed yourself going in there. You were no longer negative. Or you were vibrating negativity to the office that you hated them all. You smiled and said hello to everyone. So you changed yourself, therefore you changed your world, and your world at that point was the office, and everyone benefited from it. Now that is the power of positive thinking.